Hello, boys and girls. I'm still trying to work out my workflow on this. So if this is blurry, does it look good to you? Uh, let me know. I'll try to figure out what's going on. But if it even looks blurry, I'll try to explain what I'm doing. And uh, hopefully you can at least understand that part of the process. <laughs> I've got this widescreen monitor and I'm trying to figure out how to best use it. Anyway, a user's having a problem with this dress. And it's uh, there, there isn't a problem with the dress. The user just doesn't understand some things. But we'll... I think it's worth exploring and explaining all the various things about this because it's illustrative of a lot of things you're going you're gonna to need to know about uh, Daz, getting Daz items into uh, iClone for, for use. So this is a dress. It's a Gen 2 dress. The first thing you should know is you can always use a higher generation Genesis character on lower uh, articles of clothing. That's fine. No problem with that. I use a Gen 3 because that's what I have. Uh, I don't have a Gen 2 that I wanted to use. And, and and put the Gen dress on. It asks it to conform to that. Yeah, that's fine. So it does a good job of trying to get it on there. We can always adjust some things later. So uh, that's the first thing. So then we export this. And then we're going to bring it into Character Creator. And Character Creator, we're going to go into the first CC3. This is the very first, not CC3+, plus, but CC3, because that's for uh, Gen Gen 2 and Gen 3. CC3 Plus is for Gen 8. So we go there and we load in this Mad Nurse uh, outfit. Uh, hopefully you can still see all this. And we're going to use Advanced. We always use Advanced. Always, always. Uh, the only time we'd ever use Basic is if it's a morph we're trying to bring in from the character and not any textures or anything. Other than that, if we always want textures for clothing or sets or props, we use Advanced. And if we want the skin for the character, we use Advanced and we also bake the skin. So these are just the basic fundamentals that we always bring up. Now, so we would bake the body texture if we wanted that skin, but we don't want that skin. Whenever we have a dress, I always recommend you bring it in as an accessory. Uh, that's, a new, that's a change. The reason is it weights a lot better uh, on the character if you bring it in as an accessory and allows you to repose it a little bit, as you'll see we're going to need for this Genesis 2 dress placed on a Genesis 3 character. So bring it in as an accessory. Uh, everything else, every other article of clothing, you can bring in as cloth. But dresses, we want to bring in as accessories. And so the dress comes in, and it will load pretty good, but it has some problems here on the arms. So we're going to fix those arms. Real simple. We're going to go to Edit and go to, I'm sorry, to Motion, and edit the pose of that character. Make sure we have Mirror turned on, because we want to mirror the, the things that we do to the uh, character here. And we're going to adjust those arms downward a little bit. And that's probably about all we need. There's a little bit of breakthrough on the top, but that would actually be taken care of by conform, so I'm not too worried about that. So we're okay. So now the next thing we need to do is convert that dress. Remember, we brought it as an accessory, so we're going to convert it to clothing. And this always works better on dresses because otherwise it, they get kind of wonky when, the, when you bring them in otherwise that way. So we do this to make it a dress, apply it, and that's fine. So now, the other thing the, the uh, gentleman didn't understand is that what we've done is conform it to the limb movements of that character. That's what the weighting of the uh, basic uh, skin weights does. However, that doesn't prevent any breakthrough from any dress. The reason is that the dress is going to start trying to conform to the limbs of that character. So when one leg goes out, this part of the dress is going to try to conform to it, but the other part of the dress is going to hold back. It's not going to behave like fabric would, and we want it to behave that way. That's, that's what it actually behaves like, uh, because if it were like pants, you would want the legs to follow. You, you definitely want that to happen. So even though it breaks through here, that's just fine. Nothing wrong with that. The only way you can fix that is to put a physics map on the dress. So we go into physics, Go to the weight map. And so it's a little confusing because they talk about weight maps here and they talk about weight maps on the avatar. But weight maps on the avatar just mean it follows the avatar. Weight maps here under physics mean that it follows the physics of what cloth would do in real life, or at least as close as possible. So in this case, we have a number of different items that you can apply physics to, but we only really want it on that dress fabric, not on the rest of those things. So not on the cuffs or the sleeves or the neck collar or anything. So we just we would go here and I would launch it, and which I did is I launched it and brought it into Photoshop and actually came in here like this, and then I applied a gradient starting right at the baseline of that dress. So right at the where the waistline is, I applied that gradient, 
And so there's the gradient. And then I save that back out. Came here, loaded that gradient in. Now, whenever I load a gradient like this, you see this in my other tutorials, I always like to lower it just a little bit, just a little. Um, it, it tends to work a little bit better if you lower it just slightly. Um, it won't fall off the character as much. So, so there we go. So that's really all you have to do. And then we're going to send this character to iClone. So right now I have iClone running in the background with nothing in there. So we're going to go to the character, and we're going to export it. Send the character to iClone. And that's really the only way you can see how the physics are going to work. And that's the only way you can adjust physics is in iClone. So here we are in iClone. And if I were to apply some uh, movement to this character, it would work fairly decent. But there's some other things that we want to do to this character first. Uh, and I always mention this before in advance. I always say, you want to also collision shapes. You want to load in the best collision shapes. The best collision shapes are always Natalie and Christian. And in one of my other tutorials, I have links to that, so you can follow those uh, links there and get those collision shapes. They just work a little better. Uh, and the other thing we want to do is apply to this dress the right physics for this. And uh, so the physics for this dress, we go up to the physics tab, and for one thing, soft versus rigid collision, we want to bump that up a little bit. It's about two. Two seems good. And we also make, one, make this linen, because that probably is a linen dress. Uh, and... That seems to be okay. So on that particular format, we're I think we're okay. Just the character, and we'll uh, do the catwalk. Let's see what happens. It's a little tiny bit of a breakthrough there. You can see that, and that's uh, we can adjust the collision shapes. We can also adjust the physics a little bit on the dress. But at least you can see it's not breaking through as she as she walks. So um, that's basically the example. Let's, uh, let me put that catwalk on the beginning of this instead of towards the end so we can see the whole, oh, oh, oh. that's the physics didn't settle down on the dress. You also have to let the physics settle down. And we also, we've talked about baking physics before. Oh, that's better. So they're settled down a little bit better on the, on the start of it. So now it's not breaking through. I didn't have the, that's the other thing about physics is you've got to give it a few frames before it, the physics settle down. So we need to put it at the start and then that works a lot better. Okay. So anyway, that's uh, yeah. So that's how uh, that works. That's all that, that together, and hopefully this explains a number of items to you guys, and uh, and it's a good refresher course for everybody. So we will see you uh, on the forums.